Hello everybody, here we are with Kim. Uh, Kim, say hello to the Torah Life audience. Hi everyone. Uh, Kim, you are a believer in Yeshua Messiah. Yes. But you grew up Jewish. Yes, I did. So can you tell us a little about, uh, from going from Judaism to saying I now uh, proclaim Yeshua as Messiah? Sure, well, um, I grew up uh, what you would consider secular Jew, I guess, uh, reform, but I was educated. I went to synagogue, I went to Sunday school, all the way through I had a bat mitzvah and but the whole time really we never really learned about God actually I'm not even sure that they taught us to actually believe in God which is really strange when you think about it and but this is just what we did you know I ate bagels and cream cheese I had Passover every year and this is just what I did and I was active in my youth group um, but when I went to college now my mom had actually become a believer before I did and she had was praying for me also um, but I was absolutely not not interested not interested I thought it was crazy and weird I did not want to go that way and um, she got me a Bible when I went to college and wait, I said did, wait, did, did yeah. you grow did you grow up uh, Orthodox or did you grow up just uh, reform. secular reform? reform okay so we kept the major holidays um, I ate whatever I wanted. I did mix milk and meat together. I did eat those unclean animals um, because this is what we did. We thought, oh, the keeping, keeping that stuff, that's only for Orthodox Jews. That's what I was taught. I found out now, you know, that's not the truth. Um, I just didn't think it was for me. Okay, so your mom got a, a, gave you a Bible. My mom gave me a Bible. And I said, okay, I'll take it, but you know, you can't make me read the second part of it. I'm only going to read the first part. But she knew, because she was praying for me, that the seeds were planted. And little by little, I got a little curious, and I started reading those red letters. I didn't know what they were all about, but they were interesting. Um, and then I went to chiropractic school. When I was in chiropractic school, um, I met a friend, a Christian friend, non-Torah observant, just... Sunday, you know, going to church, Christian friend, who said he wanted to teach me things, and I, you know, I thought I knew everything, because I'm a little Jewish girl, and I know everything, right, that's what I thought, but he had the joy, he had this light, this thing around him, I didn't know what it was, I said, I don't know what you have, but I want it, can you teach me how to get it, and he said yes, and he told me it was because of Jesus, Said, okay I don't think so but show me how it is and he led me through and he taught me and even though it wasn't a Torah observant thing at that point I somehow just knew I knew in my knower right I knew in my heart that what he was showing me was true because it's the Word of God and I accepted Yeshua now after that I didn't know what to do because here I was Jewish, but I believed in Yeshua, so what does that mean? Am I a Christian now? You know, so I spent two years going to church, um, being told that Shabbat's not important, and Yom Kippur shouldn't exist, and Christmas and Easter and all that stuff, and I knew there was something wrong with it, but I didn't really know what to do. And finally, I found <clears throat> a, a Torah teacher, a believing Torah teacher who was able to bring it all together and now here we are. <laughs> now besides your mom who was probably thrilled for you when yes. you accepted Yeshua, what was the reaction from uh, your your other, other your other family? Yeah, they weren't too thrilled. Um, you know, it's a really weird thing. For some reason, even when you're Jewish and you're not observant, I thought that these people who weren't observant, these people who are happy to eat shrimp cocktails and pork chops and do whatever and celebrate Christmas with their friends, I thought, why would they care? You know, why should they be upset? And for some reason it upsets them a lot. I don't understand it, but this is the way it is. And the only thing I can think is people are threatened by it, you know, because they're not, the, the Judaism that they practiced, like what I practiced, is so full of holes, it doesn't, it's not solid, it doesn't, it's not founded on the Word of God. So because of that, when something like a Jewish believer comes along, it really shakes it up, and that's the only thing I can figure out. They have no reason to be threatened by me. Um, now, now what about your mom? So she must have been thrilled when you accepted your shoe, but then you started was, getting into the Hebrew roots. How did right. she handle that? She liked it a lot. Um, I think she's real interested by it. She's, um, you know, everyone has to take their own 
path and be led by the Spirit, I believe that she is, and she's definitely more into it than than many are. I don't think she's in the same place where I am, but you know, we, we each have to walk walk by the Spirit on our own. So. so you pretty much went from Judaism to Christianity to Hebrew roots. Exactly. Great. Now, do you have any messages out there for other Jewish people, whether they're Orthodox or secular or Reform, um, about Yeshua Messiah or, 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 or the real Torah life? That's a good question. I would say, yeah, the real Torah life is absolutely beautiful and it does, it can fit together in an amazing way and I certainly don't have it all figured out, but I'm continuing to learn and wherever you see inconsistencies and things that don't fit together, I would say relax because in time you will come into all truth. If you keep praying for truth, you will find truth and so just stick with it. What's your opinion of Torah without Messiah? It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> um, I know people who do that, and some of them are very full of joy. I don't understand how they do it, but um, it's incomplete. Great. And what would your <laughs> message be to Christians out there? Christians? Oh, Christians, you have the spirit. Be filled with it and keep asking for truth. Don't be satisfied with what you're being taught. Keep seeking truth and it will be shown to you. And how are you raising your children? Hebrew roots? Yeah. Wonderful. Do you have a website or a blog or any way people get in touch with you? Um, I have a health blog. It's called Family Natural. FamilyNatural.com. That's because I'm actually a chiropractor. Um, I don't have time to practice now because I'm just taking care of my family. But I write a lot of articles that helps family, real families be a little healthier and so familynatural.com okay kim thank you very much for joining us